Hey guys, Fans of Zeta and Zeta here with another video to get another toy review of the old Godzilla monster movie series, Destroyer. Now, before we take a look at this figure, let's take a look at the tag he came with. Now, here is the tag. As you can see here, it has a nice image there of Destroyer. 2017. Destroyer in Japanese, I'm guessing. Destroyer in English. And on the back has a, ni has a nice tag. Really nice. Really like this overall than better than the Ultraman tags. And on the back has some um, whatever this is. So yeah. Anyways guys, let's take a look at the details up close. As you can see there has a nice details of destroy on this face. Destroyer's horn is painted in yellow. So, yeah. This figure has really nice details overall. Um, some white paint for the toes. Um, purplish red on the legs, I think. I'm not, I, I don't know how to describe the color. And some nice details on the legs. Yeah, and the top has some nice details as well. So yeah. White paint for the teeth. And the, uh, uh, some orange paint for the eye. Metallic orange paint. And some lighter reds uh, on the wings. It's all on the front but on the back, uh, not that well. So, um, here is like a, a bird's perspective of Destroyer. Really looks good. And uh, bottom part, um, oh, there's the um, official Toho logo, China. And on the front, really looks good. I love the front view of it. The side views, eh, maybe not too much, but the back view, I mean, at least this is painted. Unlike the Godzilla, uh, unlike the um, Ultraman monsters. But the wings, I just wish they put this type of paint on the wings at least. So yeah. So yeah, this figure is really good detailed wise and uh, paint wise, not so good. It's decent overall. So now, uh, articulation wise, the, um, the, uh, the wings, you can actually move the wings down or up, that up. I mean, you can lower down the wings put together to get him some type of like um, um, re um, base look. But if you want to expand his wings out to be like, you know, he's angry, you can do that. Or if you want him to like fly up. There you go. Maybe this could be good for stop motion. Like you can wing, make the wings go up and then move it down and then lift them up. So yeah, I mean they have 360 rotation. It's just that um, they'll be blocked by the other wing of course. So you might have to do some movements there or move the wings a bit down. But I'm not gonna do that all the time. Uh, there's no tail rotation unfortunately. It seems like the, the tail has been glued on. As you can see some, yeah. And on the legs, you can move them up, you can move them down, you can move them this high. Nah, you can't move it back because of this part. Uh, unfortunately, there's no um, arm movements. That would have been nice, but unfortunately they didn't. Um, there's no head articulation too, so yeah. The only thing you can move is just the wings and the legs, so... Uh, um, overall, it's just the overall articulation they need to add more with this figure. I mean, I would wish for some like arm articulation and head head rotation. That would have been good, and maybe tail rotation as well. 
That would've been nice, but unfortunately they didn't. So, oh well. So yeah. Sorry guys, um... The backstage was like falling down, so yeah. Head articulation and arm articulation would've improved this figure, but unfortunately they didn't. So it's good for what it is. Now time for some size comparisons, let me just move this camera back up a little. Okay, there you go. Here he is with... My, um... Godzilla vs. Kong Mega Godzilla Playmate. So you can like see the scale between these two figures. Considering the they have they have like long tails, so hang on, let me just move the wings down. Uh, Mega Godzilla is longer. Here he is with my RAD Megatron. What are you looking at? Here he is with my first ever Godzilla figure that I got when I was a kid. The Final Wars Godzilla. So for old Bandai figures, they could scale well, I don't know, because I don't have that much other Godzilla figures to compare them with, so yeah. And for an Ultraman size comparison, I'm just gonna grab a random figure, here he is next to Ultraman X. Here he is next to um, Alien Mephilus. Here he is next to Gen 9. And if you want an Ultraman monster size comparison, here he is next to Elekin. Here he is with Gudon. And lastly, here he is next to uh, the disgusting maid, Five King. One of the most horrible figures they ever made. So yeah. Anyways guys, um, that's my review of the Ultra, not Ultra, Godzilla Monster Movie Series Destroyer. Now what do I think about this uh, figure overall? Overall, this figure is pretty decent for the most part. If you did not get the original Destroyer Bandai figure back in the old days, which is up for a ridiculous price, I say go for it. Get this figure. It's really good, really cheap, and it's um, it's decent for what it is. So yeah, guys, if you have um, hey, if you have any thoughts on this figure, leave, be sure to leave it down in the comments down below. I would like to, I would like to see your thoughts on this figure. Anyways guys, hope you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well, all that will be linked down below. And yeah guys, hope you guys have a nice day. Bye guys.